You have arrived in a four spade contract after your partner has made an invitational raise in spades. Your left hand opponent West leads the king of diamonds and his partner overtakes it with the ace and switches to the two of hearts. Now one of the important skills for a declarer is to try to figure out what your opponents uh, are up to and to try and find a way to counter their plans. So this is a good opportunity to try and make your plan before you continue the play. It looks like you have three losers, two in diamonds and the ace of spades. But why is East overtaking with the ace of diamonds in order to play the two of hearts? The best reason would be that East has switched to a singleton heart and there is now a danger that the opponents will be able to take a fourth trick um, in addition to the three tricks you already anticipated if they can trump one of your heart winners. So we need to try and find a way to counter that plan. Now you could consider playing a trump immediately. If you play a trump and West has the ace of spades, there'll be nothing you can do to prevent the opponents from trumping a heart because West will simply win the ace of spades and play a heart. If East has the ace of spades, he can win the ace of spades and he will now be able to play a diamond back to his partner and West can play another heart, East will trump and again you'll have lost a fourth trick. Now you could instead try playing a heart or a diamond but that will have the same effect as playing a spade because East will simply be able to trump one of your heart winners. So how about playing clubs? Now you could try playing the ace of clubs and then the queen of clubs. And if you could get to the dummy without losing the lead, you could play dummy's king of clubs and you could use that to throw away your, your diamond and you would avoid losing a diamond trick. Um, that, uh, avoid losing a diamond trick that way. Now unfortunately you cannot get to the dummy immediately without losing the lead. There is another possibility though. You can play the ace of clubs and follow with the queen of clubs, but this time try the effect of overtaking with the king of clubs. Now when you play the king of clubs, you then continue by playing the ten of clubs, and you're gonna have to hope that East has the jack of clubs. If East has the jack of clubs and chooses not to play it, you can simply throw away a diamond and your ten of clubs will be a winning card. So East has to play the jack of clubs if they've got it. Now when East plays the jack of clubs, again you can try the effect of throwing away a diamond. Now what can East do? Well, if he plays a diamond, which I think he probably will, then you can trump and you can now start playing trumps yourself. Now when you play trumps, if East has the ace of spades as you're hoping, he now has no winning play. Because if he plays a spade, you can win the lead and finish drawing trumps. And if he plays a club, you can trump to draw the remaining trumps. If he plays a diamond, you can trump and draw the remaining trumps. This way, you'll only have to lose three tricks because you'll lose the ace of spades, a diamond, and instead of losing a second diamond trick, you'll have lost a trick to the jack of clubs. What you'll have prevented though is you'll have prevented the opponents from trumping one of your heart winners, um, so you'll only have to lose three tricks. Now this technique that you've used is called a scissors coup, and it's a very effective way of cutting the opponent's communications. Um, and it, it, it works um, because it allows you to control which opponent will win the lead. And this time what you've done is you've managed to make sure that you've lost the lead to an opponent that is safe to lose the lead to rather than losing the lead to a dangerous opponent. And that way you avoid losing that crucial fourth trick.